friend or foe, the Megalodon. The Megalodon, a creature of myth and legend said to be so powerful it rivals the might of the Kraken, making even the deadliest of skeletons look like a daycare in comparison. With no care for ship size nor firepower, the Megalodon is said to attack indiscriminately, ripping both ships and sailors alike into pieces with the might of its powerful jaw. If a regular shark is so terrifying already, just how scary is this monster-sized version? Of course, these are all just rumors and speculation. Today we're going to investigate and see if we can not only find and spot one in the wild, but also find out just how scary these monsters can truly be. Captain Coffee here, and I'll be putting my life on the line both as a pirate and journalist as we dive deeper into the mystery surrounding these creatures of lore and dispel some of these common misbeliefs. First things first, to find the Megalodon you must treat your own ship as if a giant lure. I went with a green hull to signify friendliness and a Megalodon figurehead in hopes to have the Megalodon think of us as one of its own. Now that our ship is ready, we can head out to sea and begin our quest. My first clue was a bard by the name of Merrick that was residing on Shark Bay Cove, who as of recent talked of the coming of the Megalodons claiming to have lost all of his limbs to the Megalodon. I went to his last known location, but he had disappeared, leaving nothing behind. Had the Megalodons perhaps came and finished the job, or has he merely went into hiding? Frightening stuff to think about. While he was not there, the island wasn't a complete wash. We found ancient cave paintings showing off the history of the Megalodon. It seems that the Megalodon was attacking innocent people for just being in its area, very territorial, until the people retaliated and fought him off. But what is this blue fish? Is it the Megalodon who has turned good after realizing the might of human power, or something else altogether? Another mystery. The people of Shark Bay Cove seem to have worshipped the sharks, having built several shrines to them across the island. Just how involved and common were these beasts in days of old? I began searching day and night looking for the beast in the seas, but everywhere I looked I could find nothing. I was beginning to think the beast didn't even exist in the first place and was simply a bedtime story mothers told their children to prevent them from going out to sea. When out of nowhere, the beast attacks. The crew in a panic hastily retaliates to fend it off and immediately the Megalodon is stirred off into the distance. After regaining my composure after the attack, I began to think, was the beast really attacking us? It ran off with minimal effort despite its initial aggressions. And while yes, the beast was massive and frightening, it was nowhere nearly as frightening as the legends had foretold. Twice more I managed to spot the creatures, and twice more the creatures were friendly and did nothing more than swim around. Does the Megalodon consider us friends? Was the headpiece attracting it as a mating partner? As my adventure came to an end, I had realized I left with more questions than I began. Just why is it they didn't attack me? Who or what is the blue fish in the paintings? And just where did Merrick go? All questions left unanswered. The only thing I did find on my adventures was the Megalodonts are not the dangerous creatures of lore. They seem to be rather friendly, and while seemingly going for an attack may have simply been their way of greeting sailors. Maybe the reason the Megalodons of before were only attacking humans in defense, simply because they were being hunted down. Maybe humans were the true monsters all along. These great beasts seem to be just misunderstood, so next time you are sailing out to sea and you see a Megalodon crossing by, remember, it likely just wants to race or be friends. There is no reason to shoot it, because you wouldn't like it very much if it shot you. Thanks for joining me on this journey. It certainly has been an eye-opening one that has taught me the age-old lesson of not to judge a book by its cover. He's not going to attack. He's, he's a friendly boy, I told you. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> this video is brought to you courtesy of DBM. DBM. Don't bully Megalodons. DBM is not responsible for any hands, legs, or any other body parts lost in the attack of a megalodon due to this message.